Well, for the second consecutive night, the Blue Jays' offense does not show up until the ninth inning uh, where they where they get a solo shot from Rowdy Telez. That's it. That is it for the Blue Jays' offense uh, in the game today. They had a total of six hits, and if I'm not mistaken, like three of them are infield singles. The Jays' offense to start the year, guys, has been subpar at best. Marcus Stroman got the call there today, and, uh, you know, he wasn't as good as he was in his first start, but he still won five and two-thirds, gave up two runs uh, and five strikeouts, and only walked one guy. Now, he did give him nine hits in those five and two-thirds uh, innings. So he wasn't his best, but he wasn't terrible. However, Andrew Kashner threw six shutout innings against the Jays. Okay. Not sure what happened there. Now, anyways, like I said, the Jays' offense doesn't show up to the ninth inning. But the the streak continues about this team not being able to get a hit through, like, the first few innings. They can't get anything going early on. And the problem we talk about, yes, scoring runs is an issue. But getting hit seems to be a problem. No, I know. It's only six games into the year. It, it will change. And hitters or pitchers are ahead of the hitters. So we're going to hear all that kind of stuff. And, um, you know, it's true. So the hitters will will find a way at some point. Um, but let's talk. Brandon Drury went one for four. I think he hit one of the infield singles. I know Smokey hit one of the infield singles. He was two for four. Telez hit the home run. Uh, Freddie Galvez had one hit. And Richard Urania had one hit. And that was about it. That kind of rhymed. That was pretty cool. Uh, so positives. We, we, we got we to gotta try and find them here. Strowman, I'd say it was a positive. He had an all right outing. I'll take that. Tim Mesa, after the rough first time around, he had, you know, he threw a clean inning in a third, no hits, no walks, and struck out a batter. Great job by Tim Mesa. And Daniel Hudson, after giving him that, that two-run shot there in extra innings in game one of the season, uh, he's been pretty good since then. He went a clean inning, no hits, no walks, no strikeouts. Good job, Dan Hudson. And, uh... And uh, Javi Guerra went, a, went an inning, gave up a hit, walked a batter, but still struck out two guys and had no runs against him. So, you know, the bullpen was good. Marcus Stroman wasn't bad. He gave up a total of two runs over nine innings. You should usually win a ball game like that. But the Jays, you know, I mean, I, I, look, if you want to find a positive, and, and here's, here's my positive to you guys. Your two losses to Detroit were in extra innings. Your two losses to Baltimore are by one run. Now, ideally, they were kind of out of reach, and you kind of clawed back and made it close, but you lost, right? I mean, you know, obviously down 6 nothing yesterday and coming back to make it a 6-5 game, but you lose. Today, 2 nothing. You score one, but you lose. And, and guys, it is really hard to take a positive out of a game where you have no offense, you know, and the youngster, you didn't see, we didn't see Elvis Luciano pitch today. You didn't see any of the crazy young guys. You saw some of the old guys, Dan Hudson and, and Javi Guerra get on the mound. Now, with the Kevin Pillar uh, trade now, now done, would a guy like Derek Law be a guy that can add it, to be added to the bullpen? Uh, it wouldn't surprise me. Is Alan Hansen going to be a guy who comes, uh, comes on the team? I don't know. The infield seems to be really jammed. But I'm not sure what's going to end up happening with him. It's just really weird. I got an update here, guys, that Kevin Pillar. I mean, I'm just going to show it to you guys, all right? I'll show it to you guys live here. If you guys can. That 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 just doesn't look right. That, that. Kevin Pillar is no longer a Toronto Blue Jay. The Jays are two and four to start the year. I understand win and losses don't matter. I get it. I know. But but it's never fun to lose, especially when there's really nothing really kind of you can say, man, that, that is something you want to look at. Like back in the 6-5 loss, well, you know what? You got some good bullpen job, you know, um... Uh, but obviously, Gavilio and 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 uh, and Thomas Pannone were fantastic, and Teoscar Hernandez with the RBI triple and the big comeback by the team. We could talk about that kind of stuff today. What the heck? There's nothing here. Speaking of nothing here, Jays fans, where are you? I don't blame you for not going. though. I mean, my goodness, ten thousand fans were at yesterday's game. I do not know what the attendance was uh, for today's game. I mean, I don't know if they have it here what the final attendance was, but. It was a uh, uh, twelve thousand one ten was the attendance there at Rogers Center tonight. 
Not very good. Now, the finale of this series against the Orioles, and my goodness, we're on the verge of getting swept by the damn Orioles, who are 4-1 and one to start the year. Uh, Nathan Carnes goes to the mound for the O's, to, or Nate, Nate Carnes, excuse me, goes on the mound for the Orioles there tomorrow. And Matt Shoemaker on the mound for the Blue Jays. He looks to put up a really good second start. You know, obviously the second go round through the rotation, you want to start seeing some consistency out of your guys. With Strowman, I wouldn't say he was great today, but he wasn't terrible. He only gave up two runs over almost six innings of work. Uh, that's not a bad outing. Now, Shoemaker, you want to see him do another one tomorrow and you know what? I'd, I'd like to see a victory. I think we can all attest to that. A victory tomorrow would be nice because I don't want to get swept by the Orioles. I don't think anybody does. An offense. Wake up. First inning. You want to see a run. Heck, first time through the batting order, we want to see a run. That's all we want. You know? The guys didn't really get anything going today. and Obviously, with the Kevin Pillar deal being made, Anthony Alford gets the call up here. He was 0-3 with a strikeout. Randall Gritchick comes in to pinch hit, and ooh, he got a new contract. I'll be, I'll be doing a video to, uh, for that uh, tomorrow, guys, so just a heads up there that that's going to be happening. Uh, I, I'm, it's late, and I got home from the Leaf game, and it's I'm, too, I'm very tired. I don't, don't want to pound out three videos right now. Um, I'll be doing that tomorrow for you guys, just a heads up there. But he gets in for one at bat, and he gets out. So uh, that's that. You know what, guys? That's going to do it for this one. I mean, what, what else is there to go on here? Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video and you guys did not enjoy the game again today, smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Unless you've liked Rowdy Telez, then you can smack that like button as well because I sure have. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below your guys' thoughts on the game, the video. I mean, the, the, the Jays play today. The Jays play over the last couple games. The, the attendance, you guys can go crazy on all that kind of stuff. And Evan and I will talk to you guys. Podcast edition is going to be tomorrow afternoon. Link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the podcast itself on iTunes. Twitter is also down below. Follow up. Send me a DM. Do all that great stuff. And I will talk to you guys. It will be Raptors edition tomorrow as they're in Brooklyn taking on the Nets. Raptors look for their fifth straight victory. And they look, look to continue to squash some playoff hopes. They did that against Orlando yesterday. They look to do that tomorrow against Brooklyn. And really put some uh, weight in their shoes there, Brooklyn. Because they're falling pretty hard. They at one point had that sixth seed not locked up. But they were in pretty good shape. They've kind of fallen a little bit here. And they're in the seventh seed right now. So round one, this is a possible first round matchup there tomorrow between the Raptors and Nets. As for the Leafs, their next game, the final two games of the year are coming up here. And the next game, so the first of the final two, <laughs> is on Thursday as the Leafs welcome in the Tampa Bay Lightning to Scotiabank Arena. Seven o'clock puck drop there. Andre Vasilevsky, Frederick Anderson are the expected starters in that game on Thursday. And as for these Blue Jays, they get back in action tomorrow in the finale of this series as they look to avoid the sweep. Matt Shoemaker gets the ball for the Blue Jays. Nate Carnes for the Baltimore Orioles. An offense. I said it earlier. I'm going to say it again. Wake up. All right. So thank you guys so much for listening and watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you guys then.